I want to market the black identity as being one of the most powerful, exclusive, luxurious experiences on the planet. What's up? Yeah, yeah. We need it so bad. Man, like I, I've seen people do it. Yeah. Floyd McKissick is probably one of the greatest revolutionaries in the civil rights movement that no one ever talks about. Mm. He created Soul City, North Carolina. This black man built a city at the height of the civil rights movement <laughs> and niggas didn't want to move there because he was a Republican. Yo, that's some fly shit. Soul City? Fucking Soul City. I mean, you can't that get... That shit sounds so dope. You can't get more niggerish than that, but I'm just... Soul <laughs> City. Hey, they was in there getting it. That's a, that's a good ass time. He built a, he built a middle class subdivision, uh, not even subdivision, an entire city just for that's black... A, well, not I, just for black folks. You know, it was just going to be black folks whoever, in Soul City, right? But yeah, you was going to be part of that black infrastructure if you live there, though. You won't know. And I ain't never heard the word the name Floyd McKissick in my life. Yeah, you were the you're the only person I've ever heard that from. Man, and so like, there's a book about it, read about it uh soul city huh mm-hmm. and so you get you get some information you find about these dope individuals and like that they, they weren't uh getting water hoses pulled on them they said he <clears throat> floyd mckissick used government funding to start this city and so we're always talking about man i don't need no government help the go- the united states government funds so many other governments on on this in the nation <laughs> excuse me mm-hmm. the united states government funds so many other nations Oh, we fund Israel. We send money to Saudi Arabia. We fund so many wars. But when it comes mm-hmm. to helping the black community, we say, no, no, no. Black power, black power. I mean, you got to have some dollars, man. <laughs> I just feel like use use the tools for your own good. Like, who cares? Like, you're in this, you're in this country. Hey, here's a little secret. You live in America. This geographic location, North America, a specifically United States of America. Hi, the greatest American <laughs> alive. Nigga, you are the greatest American alive simply because of where you live at. Yeah. And I'm saying to work with other people in your geographic location to have some worker rights, right? Mm-hmm. In a class war to engage with other people in the exact same class, but you but you so preoccupied with the color of your skin. No, black first, man. Mm-hmm. Black first, man. Yeah. <laughs> I want my I want my message to hit the most broadest audience possible. And that's every working class person in America who is a man specifically, mm-hmm. because if these niggas ain't got no money, don't no woman want them. Yeah. Men be out here, man, you gotta do the work. You gotta do the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh fifty plus years ago, men had a labor revolution in America where they where they uh had strikes at all their companies to say, I demand a better wage. Right. They put their life on the line and get more money. And we'll tell a man right now, hey, go get some more money. And we don't even have the infrastructure to help him fight for more money. Listen. That's a lack of and accountability. Those are, right. And that, that's the same man that is soaking up the residual because of those other men that fought. Other men fought. But now you must fight and you just you just riding on that nigga's coattails. Yeah. And that's some, that's some bullshit. Like, yeah. freedom is progressive. Like, mm-hmm. for real, freedom is progressive. In a yeah. technological age, you have to understand how to fight with technology. Mm-hmm. You have to have more better messaging. Yeah. Shit, man. Like, John Henry has to know how to use social media today. He can't just go out there with his hammer and say, I'm just going to beat this steam drill. <laughs> you cannot beat social media with a sledgehammer. Yeah. It, it, can't, it can't be no blunt force. It's time to have some creativity and some imagination, but most importantly, collaboration. Niggas need to work with niggas, huh? Excuse me. Yeah. I, I don't want to offend you. Your sensibilities. Men need to work with Polo men. Tink, tink. Polo tink, tink. <sighs> They so lazy, though, and they're lazy because of so many reasons, anxiety, whatever. It's too much pressure. Right. But you, I think that people feel that pressure and they, it makes them lazy because they it's too much work to try to figure out what they what they are passionate about. Hey, here's the challenge. Right. This is an open platform. Come and help me build so that we can have some power. Mm-hmm. Yes. Challenge. If, if you have a grievance, <laughs> state your grievance, right? Mm-hmm. What's the reason why you don't want to do this work? I want to know. Huh? I'm raising my hand. I ask a question. Mm-hmm. I know when to ask a question. What's the problem? How can I help you? I want to be of service. Nigga. Yeah. Let's talk about S- it. Excuse me. The greatest American alive. <laughs>